everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where it is just updated. Uh, this is probably going to be the first of um, two or three videos I'm going to do today, just because there's so much to cover. Um, and I mean, unless you want to trawl through the uh, the Ludra update, uh, which you can do, it's 1.8. Um, if you just went on MetaHub, uh, I'll probably put some links in the description below, just so you you yourself can actually have a look. And wow, is an Allosaurus right outside? Hell yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, it's, at the moment there's a really good event going on where you can get Allosaurus, uh, Gallimimus, I think Stiggy Moloch Gen Two. Oh god, do this with one finger. Oh, we. Sh I mean, you could you can get a max if you've got VIP of 450. I think it is. Uh, Alasaur and Tarbosaur changed not too long ago, so that- oh, this is terrible. Uh, that darting is a little bit trickier because they sway left and right instead of going straight on the dart. So you have to go ooh, a little bit left, a little bit right, a little bit left, and that's if it's going straight. So they've made them a little bit harder. Uh, so, ooh, 317, I'll take that, but- oh, here we go, so... Today's episode, what I want to focus on, is sanctuaries. Yes, the biggest thing that Ludia, um, or have put in the game, I think, Honestly, so far. Uh, and something that when I went to see them in Montreal, I had to keep stum. I was like, I don't know anything about the sanctuaries. I had to watch everyone go, gyrospheres, then the th you have to, you probably have to pay a little bit of bucks and you can go out and, you know, like, like an actual drone that we thought was going to be in the beginning. And that's what the batteries were going to be for. Uh, not quite. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, one thing I want to say, uh, before we get into it is that this is something that Ludia have wanted to do for the game for a while. They feel like, or at least when I was talking to them, uh, they felt as though what they were putting into the game was good, but it was nothing new or innovative. Uh, okay, it just crashed. That's good. Hopefully that won't happen again. I really hope not. I'm not going to touch the cables. Anyway, um, and it's this is something that they, they've they wanted to put in um, that was new. Something that would, you know, they didn't want to just make this. This is a, a game about fighting dinosaurs. They wanted this to be a, a way for people to work together and, you know, earn DNA. Um, so, sanctuaries. What is a sanctuary? Well, that's, that's the best place to start. This is a sanctuary. As you can see, this is a level 5 sanctuary. So we'll go and enter it, and it resets in 13, 13 days, so that's not too bad, actually. It's a long time. So, a sanctuary is a place where you put your dinosaurs, and then you can interact your, with your dinosaurs. Um, depending on the level of the sanctuary, you unlock more, uh, uh, more spots to put in more dinosaurs. And then when you click on a dinosaur, like Urlachosaurus here, this is mine. Um, my local uh, sanctuary, you may find it if, if you can find it. Um, uh, and we'll get into that in a second. So you put your dinosaur in and then you interact with said dinosaur. Now, when you interact with the dinosaur, so we'll feed it. And can we just say some friggin' amazing animations, like absolutely stellar. They've done like almost, you know, every type of dinosaur has uh, a feed animation. The interact is kind of the same as what you've normally seen, but the play and feed are completely new. Uh, and I just, like, I've, I've seen some of these when I was over in Montreal. I've had to like just not say anything, but my God, I can't wait to show you. So first of all, we'll feed it. Now, as you can see, we got four DNA and 50 odd experience. So we'll bear that in mind. We'll do one play. So here we've got 53 and 4. So I think we got a little bit more for the feed. And we'll not do the interact because we only have so many interact. <laughs> Although, tell you what, let's do it. So 53 and 2. So we got different, differentiating, different, different amounts, we'll just say, because I call it English today. Uh, different amounts of DNA, depending on which one I did. Uh, and eventually, I'm sure um, if it hasn't happened already, MetaHub, uh, and I will put in my videos in the links, or just in the description, of what dinosaurs prefer um, what interaction. Uh, so now you can go down there and get the bet the most DNA you can from it. Now, this depends as well because if you keep on doing the same if you keep on feeding the same dinosaur over and over you will get less and less resources from said dinosaur so you have to you can't just go oh t-rex and get all your dna from it um you have to switch around and do a different dinosaur so 
when you do this, you level up the uh, sanctuary and you get more DNA from the dinosaurs you interact with from a higher level sanctuary. Uh, you can only put four dinosaurs into uh, any enclosure. Well, out of yourself, you can only choose four. You can't just put all the all the um, all the dinosaurs in you want. You can't put all your dinosaurs in. Also, when a, a dinosaur is in an enclosure, you cannot use it. Uh, you can only select up to epics, though. So you can't put, you can't get legendary DNA or um, unique DNA, uh, which is good. Which is good. This allows the you know the players to work together to harvest or farm uh, DNA that they want. Uh, which is really fantastic. Um, now, uh, you may say, well, what if I don't have any people near me for uh, the sanctuaries? What, what am I going to do? That's not a problem either. If you go into your alliance, uh, there is now a new uh, sanctuary uh, tab. And in here, you can see every what everybody's uh, or everybody who's in your alliance, what sanctuary they've put their dinosaurs in. Um... And you can see there's a lot of... There's a few level 1s like mine. <laughs> so I, I didn't know to start with, so I just put a bunch of dinosaurs in different uh, sanctuaries, which is very silly of me to do. But there you go. Oh, we're in low battery. I'm going to have to change the battery soon. Anyway, we'll, we'll ignore that. We'll keep on going. So, now we need to know... So, that's sanctuaries. Um... If, in my head, it's it's really good. I love that you can go in your ally, alliance and see what's the best one to do. Um, also, it kind of defeats the point in a way because I've I mean, if we look, I've got about I've got about three sanctuaries near me, and you can see there's three in the distance just over there. There's probably more all around, um, but. It'll, just like with Pokemon gyms, I, I kind of like the idea of you going to find it. It's also good in a way, though, that even if you, you can't... I think it was in... If I remember right, Lydia said that it was their goal for everyone to have at least one sanctuary near them. And just like we've seen with the new Wizards Unite game, uh, especially in rural areas, there is nothing. However, Ludia, with this game, have done an absolutely amazing job. There's so much to do. The same with Pokemon Go, there's not everything's a bit sparse. As you can see on my screen, just looking one direction, this would be a busy town in Pokemon Go or Wizards Unite. However, here, you've got plenty of stuff to do. So, how do you get the interactable objects, like the food, the interaction, and the play? Well, you go on your regular um, stops, and in these stops, especially, uh, you have your own uh, amount. So two feet, two feet and two play per day. There is also, um, so actually, no, that was the event. The event stops. And the regular stops, you can get four food and four play. Um, four play, oh dear. So not only can you get coins, bucks, and incense now, or scent, sorry, into ooh, incense, um, you can now get your food and interaction um, stuff. You really, this is where it comes down to it. You need to communicate with your alliance because it is in your guys' best interest to have your best creatures and the ones you want to farm in one sanctuary. And you want to boost said sanctuary all the way up to the top to make it the highest you can. Um, oh my god, really? Did I not collect last night Oranosaurus? I've got, I've got loads there. Um, so, for my, if my people who are in my alliance, we need to boost or just go for the top one, number five. When we level it up, you unlock more slots for dinosaurs to go in. So it's really it's really good that we've got loads of level fives and loads of level fours and stuff. But if we all just put our finite resources, our play, uh, and this goes for any alliance, your play, your uh, feed, and your interaction just in one. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, all, to, I'm all to pop with me fingers in just one then we can really boost that up. And when your dinosaurs, after the expiry day goes, uh, it says expires in five hours. However, the sanctuary, it says ex resets in 13 days. So I think your dinosaurs come back in a wave and then you can put them back in. So you've got 13 days to really max out that, um, that sanctuary. So uh, it, it is in people's best interest to 
plop them back in that really high level sanctuary and really get that up. So, is, if the, let's have a look. Is there any dinosaurs in here that we want to feed? Of course, Demetrodon is in there. Who, who hasn't seen this guy? So we're gonna we're gonna feed Demetrodon. So we got 11 DNA in it. Oh look, some fish. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you almost ate them all except for the last one that vanished. So we got 11 DNA from Demetrodon. Uh, we'll do play. So we got 11 DNA. There. Oh, he likes a tire. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. The animations, man, they're awesome. So I think we can guarantee that feed and play are fine with him, but he doesn't like interaction. So we're not, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do interaction. We did get 22 DNA there though. Now, if this is a level one sanctuary, you might not get as much. Um, what other dinosaurs are hard to come by? Um, and kind of saw, yeah, we'll go, well, this is a new Alucasaurus. This is Sergeant Chaos's Alucasaurus. So let's do interaction first. So two, does not like interaction. Do not touch Alucasaurus. However, a feed, four, okay, not bad. And a play is four as well. So play and feed. I love the cow pinata, that is awesome. Um, now we'll go for this guy as well. This is Els Draco Rex. Um... Now, does it look like a play? I'd say it looks like a play. Let's have a look. It's 11. So, is that... Is that? Oh, look, look Look at all these objects and all these animations. They're just awesome. And we'll feed as well. 11. So, it's pretty... So, so far, it seems like most of the dinosaurs prefer feed and play. And not so much interact. Even though interaction isn't the... You can't get that many interactions. So, if we go back. So, if you want to check how many resources you have, you need to go into your inventory, where you see your sense and everything like that. And you scroll down and there you have it, your food, your toys, and your interaction. You can only have up to eight interactions, up to 12 toys and food, respectively. Um, so we're gonna, oh, was there anything here? Oh, there's a raptor over there, but we're gonna go back into our sanctuary because we've almost got this to level six and we'll see what happens when we get this to level six. If I can click it, because for whatever reason, it wasn't working there. <laughs> um, so you you want to find the dinosaurs you, you want to interact with. Make sure that they are high level uh, sanctuary so you do get the most out of it. Uh, and then play with them. So we'll go for Tarbosaurus. So we haven't seen all oh, this Vertigo's Tarbosaurus. So should we go with play? So how much DNA we got? 22, which seems around about right. Oh, another tie. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so awesome. And he chucks it beautiful. Now, I'm wondering if the feed is the same as Megalosaurus. So let's feed. 41. Wow, we got 41 DNA. Oh, the goat. It eats the goat. Oh, that is beautiful. Dab, 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 dab. Um, I will not bother with interaction. It seems like 48, that was the biggest. 48 DNA for the feed. Uh, I, you know what? Let's, let's see. Let's interact 14 DNA. So, yeah, do not interact with Tarbosaurus. Feed Tarbosaurus. Um, and that, yeah, there we go. We've got up to level six now. And if we go into, I'm just thinking if we go to enclosure two. There we go. So now we can put in another creature. But because I've already placed four in, this is where somebody really needs to put in another dinosaur. So there needs to be communication. So if you're in my, in my alliance, um, there will be a link in the description to go to the Discord where we can really talk and talk about what dinosaurs we want to put in what's really the the best situation here and there was another suggestion actually um about uh you know the rewards so um uh where is it it's for the mission so if we go into here uh, i will just get these alliance rewards here i think somebody suggested that if if the leader the clan leader of the alliance chose what the rewards were that would be a really cool idea and again that's another communication it's like okay guys what do we want to go for here and we can be in discord and you can put up a poll and then we can select okay do you want this one this one this one and then it's a democracy and whoever wants you know whatever's the most wanted is the one that's chosen i think that's a really really good idea Lodi. you should definitely think about that one so i have nine hundred and six thousand coin um oh that there's a couple more thousand uh, we're just going to open these um, and we're going to have a look around and just check out some more animations of the sanctuary because I wanted this episode really to be about the sanctuary. I'm going to save that one. So we're going to... So now we have a level six sanctuary. Um, now, is there any other dinosaurs that I'm really wanting? Let's go to the Gaming Beaver because this one is just down the road from me. Uh, funnily enough... Oh god, look, look at the hair. Oh, it's messing up. The good thing about this update, there's so much. The sanctuaries really add to it with the unique animations and stuff. Um, we've got two irritators here. 
You know what? Let's 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 have a look at the irritator. So let's be a game of beaver fan. Let's feed it now. How much DNA we got? Twelve for that. Oh, the goat! Oh, beautiful. And we'll play with it as well. Oh, so only nine. So it's it seems to be unless you can only interact with it once and get the best, and then after that it it slowly goes down. So it's not like oh you you can. You get so much out of food, you get so much out of play, and you get so much out of interact. I think it might be whatever you select first, you will get the most of. So that really counts. So we'll go with this one and click play. And we only got nine from that. That's interesting. Um, so that is, that's sort of the irritator um, uh, animation set. So let's look at something like Paki. Oh, no, no, that'll be the same as Draco Rex. Let's look, look at uh, Scolosaurus. A very rare dinosaur, even though it's a common. Um, so we'll feed this guy. So we got 40 DNA, not bad. Oh, he gets a little leaf ball! And then he gets taken away. He gets a li little num-nums. Uh, so let's look at the Diplodocus. We'll feed this guy for 4 DNA. I don't know if that's the best. Oh, look at that feeder! That's so good! Oh, it gets a whole branch! Oh my god, he's eating the metal! That's not good! Uh, and we'll see what play is. So play, we get 3. So maybe play would have been the better one. Although play didn't play didn't happen. Can you not play with play again? Oh, there you go. Oh, he's got a big ball. What's what's the Plodocus gonna do with the big ball? Is he gonna kick it? Ah, oh, there he goes! Go Lazio! <laughs> uh, is there any notes? There's no other animations there. This this is half the fun. Is just checking out what the uh, different animations are, and of course leveling up the um, the sanctuaries and what have you. Uh, whoa, Carnotaurus. That might be a different animation. Okay, let's let's select Carnotaurus because I, I, oh, we could do Gripo. Tanicolagrus has, oh, Marlophosaurus. Yes, I need this. I need that DNA. So four for that. Oh, 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 it just stamps on the goat. Oh, no, bless it. Does this goat just disappear? Nope, goat's just dead there. Okay, so we'll do one play with this guy. Oh, it's the big one. Oh, is he gonna jump on it? Oh, no, didn't like it. Ooh, didn't like the play. Uh, what else have we got? Carnotaurus. Okay, now this is the Megalosaurus animation. I, I really need to see this, so let's feed it. So 12. Oh, oh there it goes. Just slams it on the floor. Oh, it eats it all. Toast. My God. Um, then we'll do the Gryposuchus as well. We'll feed you. See what happens to you. You're just gonna drop fish. Oh, it is gonna drop fish. Oh, the animation is just so freaking good. I love them. They're just, they're just so good. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. We're a little bit bright. There we go. Are we going to focus? Oh, I want James is just a pro. <laughs> um, now, what else do we have? What else do we want to play with that we haven't seen? God, or, or DNA that I kind of need would be nice. Um, so if you, if you, what you want to, if you, you know, if you want to, you, you can very easily just go through, say you need a certain dinosaur's DNA, you can find all of those ones and look up, or go in the video, the description of the video, uh, and find out um, which is the best to get DNA from it. And then you can just harvest, you can just go through all of the uh, sanctuaries and go, oh, look, it's always feed, 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 and just, you know, within a day, get about, what, four, if you get ten, you won't get ten in a day, if you're lucky, you might get... 10. I think the max is you can get about 6. So you could get about 20 Ulicosaurus DNA a day if you just went through. Uh, did nobody put a T-Rex in? Aha! There we go. So let, well, let's check out T-Rex. Let's check out T-Rex. Oh, well, let's play with the T-Rex. Mendy's T-Rex. Oh, it's a big tire. Oh, so it's a Tarbosaurus animation set. Okay, great. Yeah, and it's done no sound for... Whatever reason. Uh, so that is pretty much everything I think you need to know about the sanctuaries. Uh, oh, yes. When your dinosaur comes back in about a couple of hours, you will also get uh, that dinosaur's DNA. And I think depending on the sanctuary level, you will get higher level DNA. Uh, so I will, of course, be on my Discord. I'm actually trying to go on there a bit more than... Uh, I do with other things. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to be more active on Discord. Um, so hopefully we'll, you know, if you're in my lines, we'll chat to you. Um, and we can talk about what really is the best things to do. Because we're about to lose. I mean, 
I say that, but by the time this episode's out, everyone will have just shoved in their dinosaurs again. But we'll probably have a list of the best dinosaurs to put in or something like that. And I think if you're an alliance, communication is key. And I think Ludi have done an absolutely splendid job of um, trying to facilitate more of a communication, more of a, a sort of bond with your alliance members and... Um, working together, a camaraderie, if you will, um, of sorts. And uh, so, yes, stay tuned. In an hour, we will be back and we will be talking about the newest dinosaurs that have been released in the game. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, if you're enjoying this Jurassic World Alive content, leave a like, of course. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.